Greetings, uh, wellness team for Johnson C. Smith Theological Seminary. This is Itihari Ture. I decided that I'd make this um, video recording uh, so that I won't take up too much of your time in your Zoom conference meeting. And um, I talked to Carlton and seems to be their need to familiarize or review um, the consultant contract so information. So here we go. Now, um, for the record, let's begin. Um, you should have received uh, an earlier email, and this email had two things in it. It had what I call the programs, certificate wellness program scope of work, or scope of program. That's what you see right here with these dates and the items and who's involved. And in this email, I said that the ones that reflected your involvement as the wellness team actually had the word wellness team uh, a part of uh, the row. So like, for example, it says here, September and October work session on modules for pre-conference at SDPC, this team's work. This team, meaning the wellness team, consequently, who's involved, says wellness team and Johnson C. Smith. So here's our overall um, scope of work. Uh, the piece that's not in here um, directly are the courses, the online courses, um, which will uh, now take place launching in January. At the time that I did this, um, we weren't sure of the time frame, but now I can officially say those courses. So I'm going to add that right uh, now. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to add it after December, but before January. So our courses will begin in January, and they'll run through June. And these are the online courses, which you may decide to be a part of and facilitate. So I'm going to put wellness team right in there. Okay, so this was part one. Uh, the scope of the program. So with that addition, uh, we now have the full scope. So you see we go from August to July um, with this certificate program. With this uh, document, there was the overview of the MICA curriculum. Now that's where we are partnering with Samuel DeWitt Proctor in the execution. So this document that kind of went over the entire curriculum. Let me make a full page view. Um, it's what you saw was the overall content. And I know at our Saturday meeting on the 27th, I spent a lot of time kind of going through this and showing you examples of where the other um, uh, team, the financial planning team was working on and the actual overview of the entire curriculum, which is what you see uh, now on the screen. Um, the main part that was modeled to you was this notion of an area with these three different types of effects, effects of theological ministerial shift, effects of perceived past behaviors, effects of envisioning wellness, and then topics. And we found out that I had confused you by using the word module, so we removed the word uh, module um, because it was causing some confusion. Uh, but that, that's the part that we will finally develop. So right now, as consultants, you have communicated uh, in writing uh, your effects on your particular area and topics. I saw you collaborate, and I do remember um, receiving that. The approach... This pedagogy is how we carry out the entire program. So no matter what the topic is, no matter what the module or lesson is, we will always begin by creating a safe space. We will then have some kind of facilitated teaching or learning. We will deal with um, just being present and the skills of listening and modeling what that's going to mean as they work with each other and work with their communities. We will always have storytelling um, or story linking. And you're going to see some of that uh, in this very first one coming up in October. And then action. Sometimes the action plans will be for individuals and sometimes they'll be for individual and community. Because some folks 
are doing projects for their community. Um, the next talked about next page here that you see talks about what we want to achieve in this. This is what we'll be evaluating as uh, we continue. Now, there are some components uh, of responsibility that are you know laid out here in terms of the specific um, areas of of teaching sharing. But before we get into that, I want to turn our attention to uh, some logistical work with regard to your consultant work and your pay. Now that involved two other forms. One was the um, timesheet and the other was the scope of work where you are letting us know of these dimensions what things you will participate in. So one is this, the congregational timesheet, which actually we should get after the scope of work, uh, where you let us know exactly what you're going to uh, participate in. So I'm, I'm going to move these out the way a minute and go to the um, scope of work. Okay, come on up. All right, this document here. So you all have this document and we need you to put in the date, your name, um, the area of function, which everyone can put in the wellness team because that's what we're doing. So I'm just going to type that in so you can see it. This is um, the wellness team. That's where you're functioning. Okay, now it lists here what we're asking you to do. Um, the identification of the areas of focus, the actual paragraph description of the module, um, the connection of the module um, or topic specific to the um, outcomes of the entire program, etc. That was one area. Then the second area of work had to do with the online courses, which you did not have the dates for. And so now we were asking you here if you want to be a part of teaching the online courses, which will begin January, February, 2017. Then the third area is um, other program activities that will occur as a result of our relationship with Proctor and other events. Now, once you decided, you would then put in, yes, I'm going to work on the module development, Yes, I'm, I'm interested in online course facilitation. And you would actually have typed this in right there. And yes, I'm available for other services. You know, as agreed upon. Because obviously, it's just not a carte blanche. Okay. You don't have anything to put in the finish date, so that's your left blank. We wanted you to let you know that we are paying $50 per hour. That's fixed. Um, and there will be uh, uh, out-of-pocket expenses that might be covered by the program. Uh, or there may be out-of-pocket expenses for you, especially if it's involving the other services. But if it's something that we are committed to the wellness team, then uh, Johnson C. Smith um, will take care of it. Payment schedule, clarity's sake. So I asked Carlton, after you turn in the timesheet, is it reasonable that you could expect your check at one week after the timesheet submission? He said yes. So we're going to add that one week after the timesheet is submitted. Okay? So that would give you an idea of when you would actually, your check would be available. Now we can go to the timesheet. Okay, this is a sample um, that you will have to populate and change as you go. So, um, you know, you put your name up here, um, you put your phone number here, you put your email address here, okay? And now here's what uh, will be dependent on you. So, Someone asked me or asked Carlton about the can the dates change? Yes, the dates can change because this was an example. So all you have to do is click on the date and you'll see it appear right up here next to the function sign. And you can put in the date that reflects your work. 
So some of you, um, for example, I'm going to change this to um, uh, curriculum orientation. Well, you weren't part of the GNN, and that was an example. But what you did do was you were in a curriculum orientation with me on August 27th. So I'm going to put preparation for, for module development. And the date of that was August 27th. So then I'm going to go here to this first column. And I'm going to change this date to 8-27. And that time was about... Oh, maybe two and a half hours. And so I would change that. Or three hours. Let's just put three hours. Okay. And um, everyone was paid for that day because of the deliverable was actually that day. Um, we paid based on deliverables. And so um, that's why you got paid for that day. Now, some of you conceptualization, you see this next row, it says results by discipline. And some of you have submitted those. What you would need to do in the second column here is let us know the date frame. It might be the same dates that's up there. It may not. The number of hours it took you to do that. Okay. And that would be populated here. So let's say it took you, um, three hours to do that. Some may have taken five. I don't, I don't know. And so uh, I'm just going to put five in here for right now. Okay. So it took me five hours to do my effects. Then you had a phone meeting, a uh, conference video meeting on synthesizing the effects. That's the whole group. And however that was, maybe it was two hours uh, and it might have been in the same period and you would put two, two there. Right. And then we're getting to where we are now, which is the actual work um, to now translate um, those uh, topical areas into actual um, lessons, topic-specific workshops, um, if you will. So that work is forthcoming, and I assume that you'll be talking about that a little bit on your call on, on Friday. The module development, this gets down to the actual nitty-gritty um, exercises, worksheets, resources, and that's after persons have identified the modules they're going to carry out. And so you can see that that's, uh, I'm anticipating that um, taking quite a bit of time. The pre, the uh, pre-conference intensive is where we'll implement the modules. And so that won't happen until February over here. Uh, and then if those of you who will be working on the online courses, there'll be some syllabus and Moodle training for you if that's what you're going to agree upon. And so then we would see your total. So you see, as I put those numbers in, my total changed here. Okay. And then that's what you would expect um, uh, in terms of your uh, contribution to the wellness team. Now, um, with if you begin to approach um, the 70%, 75% or 70% of the total amount allocated for your work will let you know because uh, obviously this is not a bottomless uh, <laughs> expenditure. So we do have it uh, a particular line item uh, amount, total dollar amount, and we'll let you know. Um, you know, So let's just say hypothetically that is $750 for each person. Um, it's a little more than that, but let's just say that hypothetically. And then I could say to this person, oh, okay, well, you are about $100 uh, left on your total budget for this. So kind of keep that in mind as you're um, uh, admitting your time. Okay, in terms of your actual um, mental time. Okay, um, so the 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 dollar amount actually depends on what you agree to do in the scope of work and that's why that's so very important that we have those in and um we're all clear and on the same page so um please please um uh, submit these and let us know what it is that you're working on um so that we will know how to proceed you know, we have one person who is working only on the online course, the Theology of Sufficiency, Dr. Will Coleman, um, 
is working on that course. And so he's not involved in these other modules. He's not involved in, in uh, your uh, pre-conference work, but he will be teaching that course online. So that's why we need this scope of work done. So, okay, I hope that was helpful for you all, and I will send this to you. All right, God bless. I'll be on the phone with you, I mean, on the Zoom conference too, just in case. Peace.